last video was a Irish soda bread and it was just me that's been eating it and I just made it and I can't finish it. It's way too much. So what the reason it doesn't last as long, I ate half of it, is because it's a very hearty, um, tough bread. I mean, it's, it's, it will last for a meal. Like when you're going to eat it, if you have a whole bunch of people or if you have a family, it will just, you'll finish it. But it's just me. My son is on a car carnivore diet. He's not eating any carbs. So I can't finish this. And I'm not going to waste it because it, it's so good. So what I'm going to do is make a bread pudding with it. When I made this, I knew that I was going to use it to make a bread pudding because I knew I wasn't going to be able to finish this. It doesn't stay um, soft for very long. Uh, that's one thing about Irish soda bread that it's you you have it then when you make it that day and it may last Maybe a day, but even when you wrap it really good So this is really meant to have it when you make it So if you have anybody more than yourself like maybe two or three people you'll finish it in one meal So I'm going to show you how to make this delicious Bread pudding in a brandy sauce. I know you'll love this recipe These are all the ingredients that are go going to go into the actual bread pudding, not the brandy sauce. I'll go over that with you um, after we're done with this. So you're gonna have three eggs. You're gonna have four cups of uh, bread, dried up bread, and this is definitely stale, uh, my uh, soda bread now. And so I'm gonna cut it up in cubes and, and make four cups of that. You're gonna have three-fourths a cup of sugar, six tablespoons of butter, two cups of milk, we're going to have cinnamon, nutmeg, vanilla, a little salt, and um, I'll have all the ingredient amounts and the whole recipe um, under the description. Okay, so you're going to start by blending your butter and sugar together until it's creamy. Then you're going to add your, um, your spices, which are the cinnamon, the nutmeg, the salt, and you're going to cream all that in until it's smooth. Then you'll add your three eggs individually, one at a time. And then your teaspoon of vanilla. So what we want to do, of course, with the bread knife, is we're going to cut up this Irish soda bread. And you would normally use like a sourdough bread. Like it, and that's kind of a tougher bread. And that's what you use for this recipe. But we're lucky because we already have this um, leftover soda bread. And it's kind of too hard to eat the next day. Even I covered it up and it's still um, hard. That's why I said when you make soda bread, it's mainly to eat right then and you eat it warm with your dinner. And um, if I had company uh, or even my son eating, it would not, it, I mean, the whole bread probably wouldn't have gone if just he ate, but if we had like two other people here, this bread would have probably been eaten in the meal. So when you make this, if you're a family, it'll, it'll be eaten the same day, but if it's not, the perfect thing to do with this is make a, a really good bread pudding. So this bread pudding calls for raisins. But obviously, I don't need to use them. It only calls for a quarter cup, but th this bread already has the raisins in it. So that's one thing I can omit because it's already in here. So I'm going to finish cutting these up, and I need four cups of uh, bread chunks. I'll be back. So here's uh, our eggs and everything we mixed up in here and all the spices with the uh, sugar. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put our bread cubes. Oh, I got to measure them first. I want to make sure I have four cups. Okay, so I'm going to use this measuring cup. That's one because I'm using my bigger one for the milk. And that's two. And that's three. And well, they're pretty full and this is four. So we have four cups in here, and what we're gonna do is uh, let this, we're gonna mix it all together with our 
um, egg mixture that we put the sugar, vanilla, and all our spices, and we're going to let it sit in this for about five minutes. It's going to absorb all the flavors of the nutmeg and cinnamon and the sugar and vanilla. It's just going to, I'm going to keep stirring it, but I'm going to leave it in here for five minutes to absorb this before we add the milk. So we'll wait about five minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so now we're going to pour in our milk. I did put all the breadcrumbs in because I don't want to waste. Uh, I don't waste. So now we're going to let this soak in here with the milk for five minutes. Okay, now after it has soaked in the milk for five minutes, we're going to pour it into a greased uh, pan. I'm using a casserole dish. It, whatever you want. This is, I, I haven't even measured it. I've had this for so long. I, I've never measured it, but I would guess this is probably like an 8 by 8 but you could put it in a 9 by 13, it, it, however you want, whatever you want to use as your pan. Um, and it says to top it off with raisins, but I'm not going to because I have plenty of raisins in my um, bread. So now what we're going to do, now that it's in a greased casserole dish or a pan, whoops, we're going to let it stand here for 20 minutes. And of course our oven is preheated at 350 degrees. Um, so after this sits for another 20 minutes, we're going to put this in the oven and bake it. I think it's about 45 minutes on 350. This has been soaking for 20 minutes and now we are going to put it in the oven for 45 minutes on 350 degrees. So there it goes on the middle rack. I'm going to set the timer for 40 minutes and check it after 40. These are the ingredients you're going to use to make your brandy sauce that's going to go over your bread pudding. And you can start this while your bread pudding is baking in the oven. So you're going to need one stick of butter, one cup of sugar, a quarter cup of brandy, and one egg. And as you can see, that was the last of my brandy. I just barely have uh, I have a little under a quarter cup, but that'll be okay. So we're going to start making this. So you're going to um, you're going to melt really low your butter and your sugar together. So you have to melt butter real low or, or it'll burn if you don't. So um, we're going to melt them together, the sugar and the butter, and whisk everything together. And that's where we'll start. So here's your butter and sugar that have been melted very slowly. Now you're going to add your beaten egg. And because this has been done really slow, it's not going to scramble the egg. So you're going to mix this, whisk this together on low temp. And as soon as you whisk it together for probably 45 seconds, it'll, it'll be okay. And you're going to take it off the stove. And then you're going to add your brandy in. Here's the last step. You're going to pour the quarter cup of brandy in. And then you're going to whisk it all together. And here's your brandy sauce. We're not cooking the brandy. A lot of recipes you cook the brandy or the alcohol out. Not in this one because the brandy is supposed to be tasted. It's supposed to be savored. So here's our sauce. We're just waiting for the bread pudding. We serve it warm. And you can have some vanilla ice cream with that. It sounds good, but I don't have any. So we're just waiting for the bread pudding. It will be ready in just a bit. This has been baking right at 45 minutes, and so it is done. I put a knife in, it came out smooth. I think the best way to have bread pudding is to have it warm. Doesn't that look good? It's real custardy. It's basically a, like a custard. Okay, so now we're going to pour our brandy sauce over it. You can either pour it over the whole bread pudding. I like to just do it individually, so here we go. Okay, here we go. This is warm still. It's very warm. But I prefer bread pudding when it's first taken out of the oven, probably about 10 minutes, within 10 minutes. So let's give this a try. It's got the brandy sauce on it. And this would be really, really good with vanilla ice cream or even whipped cream, but I don't have any. So this will have to do. So let's give it a try. This is like a five star dessert. This is something you would have at a fine dining restaurant 
and pay an arm and a leg for it. This is really, really delicious. It's really good. And look how simple it was to make. This is awesome. Oh, I'm gonna get a glass of milk. Um, this is something, if you like bread pudding, you really gotta try this. I was very fortunate that I had some really good bread to make with it. But you can use just a regular sourdough bread or some kind of scraps, but a tough bread, not a real soft one like white bread, but that's what you need for this because it just has a really good consistency. So I hope you give this a try and I hope it turns out wonderful for you. I've decided I'm gonna pour it all over. This is so delicious.